Hi everybody, it's me. I'm back. So I'm going to be doing my favorites. I've got a lot of stuff, so I have to speed through these. So first of all, I'm going to do the bath products. I always have tons of bath things. So of course you guys could probably guess that this Eden Secret was my one of my absolute favorites. Here it is. I reviewed it. Um, haven't used anything. It's been very tough. I think I'm going to display it in one of, our, one of our bathrooms. I bought a really, really cute dish to put all this stuff in. This stuff looks almost edible like it's truffles. And it smells as good as it, as it looks. It smells so fabulous. Karen did the greatest job. So there's that. Um, and then I know, like I said, the fortune cookie soap video or did I, I don't, I'm so confused. Anyway, I did a fortune cookie soap video where I was unloading the drawer. I was packing at the same time and it was a 19 minute video and it only uploaded for four. So I'm going to have to do that again. But anyway, for right now, I have a huge box right here of all of my favorites. Let me show you real quick if you can even see it. I don't think you can see it and I don't want to make this video shaky. So let me just go through this and then I'll do the makeup part of it. So here's another favorite. I went out and bought, this is pink sugar bath salts. I don't know if you can see that they're pink. And I went and bought, there's the label of the maker. I put it in the top. And these smell fabulous. And what I did was I put a little, so every time you get in the bath, I have a little spoon where I take it and spoon it into the tub. I thought, it, I thought that was really cute. So... I put a little spoon in there, and this is going to go in my pink bathroom, pink and black. And I bought a shower curtain and towels, and it's like going to be in like a French theme. I don't want to take all day um, trying to get this hooked, so let me get this on. I act actually got this at the dollar store, so I bought two bags of the... Sorry about the lighting. I bought two bags of the pink sugar, so it smells like pink sugar bath salt, and then there's the company name on it, so I will link that down below. And then I've got tons of other stuff, fortune cookie soaps. I tried to review this. Um, I, was, I actually packed this box, and I thought it got reviewed, and it didn't, and I was really upset. I got four minutes on, and then it disappeared, so... I don't know what to do. A lot of this stuff is um, soaps from Fortune Cookie. And anyway, so I've got my Eden Secret favorites. And then let me set this up at the top here of the armoire. And then I've got another company's favorites. She makes awesome stuff. Really cute. This is called Sudsy Treats Boutique. I reviewed this. Um, I've used part of it. It is a um, shower melt cupcake, and you just dig it out at the bottom. Here's the label. This is absolutely fabulous. It makes your skin really soft. And I will, it's by a company, it's Sudsy Treats Boutique from Etsy. I really like this a lot. Any bath products I go cuckoo over. Um, and this is. I just took a little tiny piece. We have a huge tub, and I wanted to save it. It's pink sugar, and this is why I love it. It smells so good, I do not even want to use it. And it's the softest, one of the softest bath bu bubble bars I've ever had. I took a little piece off of it and wrapped it back up. That's why it's so loose. But I've got to order some more of these. But this is by that same, <clears throat> excuse me, excuse me, <clears throat> company, so there's that, and then, let's see, I've got another favorite, that, excuse me, it's in this box, I have to open it up, one of the problems with packing and trying to do favorites, so I will open this up, it's fortune cookie soaps, which I have another big haul coming, it should, I just placed the order, I'm having problems with us moving and not knowing where to send the orders. So, and once you put in a transfer, it takes two weeks to get your product. So I have to decide whether I'm going to order them here or there. But wow, I can smell this already. So this is this is the box that I was trying to review when I packed it. But if you can see, it smells so fabulous. Here's the inside of the box. It's crazy. This is all fortune cookie soap. So, yeah. 
Um, these are my absolute favorites. This is Valentine Schmalentine. It smells so good. I love this one. And then there's another one called Sugar Daddy that I love. I reviewed this. I tried to review this and it didn't upload. This is Birds and Birds and the Bees. This smells fabulous. They're two eggs. They're blue. I don't want to open it because you can see it from the back. They're blue speckled. And these are going to go in my other bathroom that's blue. I'm trying to keep my house all one. A good decorator keeps your house one shade. You don't want to stray from different shades. So as you can see, I've got my curtains that go with my couch because they're kind of plaid. They're, I just washed them last night. That's part of them. Anyway, but not to stray away from this. And then this is um, one of my favorites. It almost looks like a cookie. This is a bath fizzy. Um, it's called the Munchies. I ordered some more of that. That's coming. So I don't want to make this too long, but I wanted to show you guys this real quick. I absolutely love, love, love this stuff. Where is it? It came in a bottle. And it's probably not in this box. Yeah. I've got two bars of soap. This is the In the Loop. Um, and this is the Kiss My Vine soap from Fortune Cookie. I love it. Absolutely love it. It smells so good. And there's what it looks like. It's pink, if you can see it. I hate to open it. I reviewed it when I bought it, so you guys can look back at that. So, yeah, that is an absolute favorite. And the, in the loop, I showed the bar of soap where you can see the milk dripping down the sides. I love it. Absolutely love it. And then the next um, summer box is going out. I'm worried about that. I hope it comes to this address. I'll have to call them. Still waiting for my glossy box, not to take away from this company. Anyway, so yeah, this whole box, but this sugar daddy, I suggest everybody order from Fortune Cookie Soaps. This is the same shape as a Valentine Schmalentine, except it's not cracked you know, uh, like a broken heart, and this smells so good, I could not explain the fragrance. It smells like chocolate, like pop. I just absolutely love this. Anyway, so there's that, and then another favorite is the Kiss My Vine Bath Salts. I have it in a bigger size, but here's a sample size that got me started on it. So yeah, I was really crushed when I un unloaded that drawer and it didn't upload the whole thing. I don't know what happened. So yeah, here's a whole nother box right here full of fortune cookie soaps. It's absolutely crazy. So yeah, here's the whole tray of it. I could never go through it all in one video. So I thought I would upload this. Let me go through the makeup part of it, the favorite part of my makeup makeup and then I would uh, will upload that I'll have to tape that closed again and then once I get moved I think when I unpack I will go through everything in detail um, so yeah we let's start with this um, this was in my ipsy bag I absolutely love it it's made by Pacifica I, it's almost gone it's the crushed the coconut crushed pearl um, shimmer and glow and I can't carry this in my purse it smells so good I love this it kind of smells a little bit like tanning oil but it's so wonderful I love it and then um, for my favorite perfume of the month this one is one of my favorites it's called love rocks and one of the reasons I got it at Victoria's Secret one of the reasons I love it is because it has an atomizer and I'm wearing it today so it just sprays on you. Know, I don't want to spray it on my necklace, but if you hold it like this, I don't know. Well, I'll just spray it this time. It goes on with the, such a fine mist. You just spray it like this. Oh, and it smells fabulous, and it holds all day long. Now, I know I mix this with the other one, but I really like the atomizer. I know it's a little bit old fashioned, but it goes on with such a light mist and it's not just doesn't like soak you. This is another favorite. So there's that. 
and then this one came in my Ipsy bag too, the Pacifica. This is a really expensive perfume if you buy it in the bottle. Um, rollerball perfumes don't seem to hold on me as well as the sprays do, but this smells just reminds me of summer. It smells like a mixture of pink sugar and coconut. That would be my guesstimate. So there's the scents. And then let's move on to makeup. And then I'll be done with my favorites. Otherwise, it'll just be too long. So for makeup, I have, obviously, I have to include one MAC product. And, product. and today, this is what I have on my lips. This is Bombshell. And it's absolutely beautiful. I do not like Okay, so there it is. And then I have an, a lip gloss over it. So there's the color. It's beautiful. Excuse my wedding ring. If you go back, you can see it. So there's that. And this is a, um, a frost lipstick. So what I did this morning was I put this on. goes on a little bit slick. So if you eat... It doesn't stay on as good as the matte lipsticks, but I love this color, and I own a million Max lipsticks. Wait till I unpack and show you everything. It's crazy. So that's called Bombshell, and it's in a frost. And then what I did was I put this Juice Beauty over it. I thought I would try it. This came in my Ipsy bag also. Uh, let's see. Where's the name? There's the name. And I have the spray that goes over your makeup, the setting spray. Anyway, this has a fabulous scent to it. It smells like candy. It smells like melons. And then I took this and put it over it. It's not sticky, and I love it. I don't know where you can buy it. Probably through the Ipsy website. And uh, let me give you a tip. A tip real quick. You never want to do this with your stuff. It ruins it. You just want to go in once and pull it out. Especially with mascara. It dries it out faster. So, yeah. Let me put this on. So, I just put this over bombshell. I was bored. But, yeah, you don't ever want to pump your mascaras like that. I found that out my, the hard way. And I was going through mascaras like you would not believe they dry out extra fast when you pump them like that and then there's this age rewind when you're tired I used it this morning it gets rid of black dark circles instead of using I was using the yellow from Sephora before and I found that this works better now once I get tan I usually don't wear foundation but this is made by um let's see it's made by let's is it Revlon, Age, Ref Age Rewind, and I cannot see it. it. just says Instant Age Rewind. I don't know who makes it. Isn't that? Oh, it's by Maybelline. Yeah, Maybelline. So you can get it in different shades. You just want to be careful. I, if I were you, since summer's coming up, I would go up one shade. That's what I did. Otherwise, it'll be too light because the sun's already hitting you and you're already starting to get rays so I went up one shade my husband wears this once in a while when he has dark circles ooh, there's a hair on it yuck anyway so you just swipe it underneath your eyes and then I take a brush and rub it in so this is fabulous love this so there's that and then that is oh one other thing this is this came in my glossy box Vincent Longo and this is, I'm not sure what the white end was supposed to be for. I thought it's a lip pencil. Here's the, the lip side. I just sharpened it. Um, let me swatch it for you. It's in a burgundy. You could use it on your eyes. There it is. And then the other side, I use it to, when I'm tired. Excuse the black on the white, but... I use it to tight line my eyes when I'm tired and I used it this morning and then I went over it with <clears throat> excuse me I went over it with um, I took a brush and tight you can see where it's white 
I took a brush and just tight lined some pig pigments. I just padded pigments on my eyelids. So anyway, that is my favorites. I will upload those if, right now and then I will see if I have time for a third video. Otherwise, I will be back tomorrow when my glossy gloss comes. Hopefully, it will be here today or tomorrow. I'm going to give them a call, make sure they're not um, mixed up on the dresses. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I am sorry, very sorry for being uh, gone for 10 days. I'm hopefully getting, making progress. You guys should, I don't even want you guys to see that side of my house. It's really bad. But anyway, thank you for watching. I will upload this and I might be back with another video. Have to go get some groceries. Other, other than that, I will be back after the mail gets here. Hopefully a box comes. So I will see you all later. Love you. Keep subscribing and leave me a message if you want and I will get back to you. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and I will see you all later. Bye.